Nathan Zagura here with another training camp edition of the Two Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals. Very happy to be joined now by Brown's rookie, running back, wide receiver, special teams coverage guy, special teams returner, Demetric Felton. And Demetric, here you are coming back after a day off. How was it out there today as you guys got back to work, getting ready now, eight days away from the preseason opener? Oh yeah, I feel like today was just, you know, another good day to go against each other and get each other better. And, uh, you know, the offense came out, defense came out just to do that. And so I feel like it went pretty well. And we're looking forward to continuing to do that in these next remaining days until Jacksonville. And you've got a guy, as I said at the beginning, a man who's had many, many job titles since you've been here. Some days you're a back, some days you're a receiver. How do you approach that and how have you been able to kind of digest all that information? Uh, I approach it with, you know, if they're asking me to do it, I should be able to do it. So, you know, I just go out there, try my hardest, uh, whether it's in the meeting rooms, being out here, I just try to work as hard as I can, get better every day. And uh, you know, we'll see what happens next. That's all I can control, and so I just try to handle that. Well, the parade of stars continues here on the Two Minute Drills. We go from someone trying to make this football team to someone whose mark is indelible. His contributions to this team and this organization, this city, and all of you will never, ever be forgotten. Of course, I'm talking about Joe Thomas. And Joe, you've been out here all week. Had a great time on Browns Daily and on Browns Live. What have you seen from this football team in this training camp so far? Well, it's been great watching these guys come together, specifically the defensive side of the football, potentially nine new starters on defense. I wanted to see how those guys were going to communicate. Were they going to be able to get on the same page early in training camp? Were they going to be able to be the type of defense that Joe Woods wants them to be? And so far, all the early returns are telling us yes, yes, and yes, because the Browns defense has looked really good in training camp. All those additions up front are only going to make Miles Garrett more dangerous as a pass rusher to Debbie and Clowney looks to be completely unblockable right now so uh, all that is left for us to do is wonder and wait and watch what it's going to be like in week one and I'm sure you're very happy to be just commentating from the sideline not lining up there oh, against Miles absolutely. and Jadavian yes a lot of fun so that's on the defense offensively running it back but we've seen some people emerge and I know we've talked a lot about Donovan Peoples Jones another great day today caught a bomb down the sideline from Baker which is kind of becoming a routine thing that's the thing. It seems like Donovan Peoples-Jones has become one of Baker's favorite targets. He's really taking advantage of the opportunity that's in front of him right now with Odell not practicing in the team drills, Jarvis getting a few days off here and there. That's the name, Donovan Peoples-Jones, like you've been talking about for a while here, that really has been elevating during training camp as that reliable guy for Baker Mayfield. So he looks like he's probably right now the favorite to win that number three spot. Yeah, that's going to be fun. And look, we've kind of talked about this has been a boring camp in all the right ways, right? Sure. And we hope that that continues in there, getting ready for that preseason game. But since we have you here and it's a treat to do it, we're going to be talking together on the Browns preseason broadcast on television this year. What are you looking for as this team gets to Jacksonville and then into that game? What are you hoping to see in the preseason that tells you this team is going to be on the right track for September the 12th in Kansas City? Yeah, that first preseason game is huge. Just looking to see how few errors you make, right? Because the game plan is not going to be extensive, but there still will be some wrinkles in there that'll be specific for Jacksonville. You want to see the team getting in and out of the huddle. Efficiency, you don't want to see balls on the ground. Defensively, you want to see the things that they've been trying to work on start to bubble to the surface, right? You want to see a lot more of that dime nickel pressure yep. type stuff that Joe Woods wants to run. You want to see that defensive secondary make sure they're communicating, there's no busted coverages. It's all those foundation things that you need to lay in the first preseason game. So you can take that step to the second preseason game so that you're making that steady progress throughout preseason until you're playing week one at the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead. It is going to be a lot of fun and a wise man once told me control. We want to see the players under control, the team under control. If you've got that, we are well on our way. Again, coming up Sunday, that's when Browns Live returns from First Energy Stadium for the Orange and Brown practice. Day eight of training camp in the books. A nice back and forth day, as we said. Some sloppiness here and there, but to be expected, and I expect them to really tighten it up as we get ready for that Orange and Brown practice. For the Hoff, Joe Thomas, I am Nathan Zagura saying thanks again for watching the two-minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals.